I'm going to give $1,000 to one of these college pitchers if they can strike me out just one time out of eight total at bats. And I'll also have three challenges I will attempt to accomplish. The first challenge is to avoid hitting into a double play. The second challenge is to move the runner over to third base. The third challenge is to drive in RBI with bases loaded. And the fourth and final challenge is a strikeout challenge, which will allow one of these pitchers to win $1,000. However, if they strike me out at any given challenge during any at bat, they will win $1,000. And for every challenge that I do not accomplish, I will add $125 to the overall $1,000 pot. So one of these pitchers can earn up to 1,375 if they strike me out and win all the challenges. And the other can earn up to $375 even if they do not strike me out and win all the challenges. And if you're wondering who I am, I played 10 years professionally, making it to the major leagues, playing with the A's, Reds, Cardinals, and Twins. And this video is sponsored by Pro's Cave Sunglasses. More on that later. So let's get started with the first challenge. So in this challenge, we will have a runner on first base. And if I hit a ground ball, I will fail this challenge because it will be ruled a double play. With that said, before stepping to the plate, you should have an approach, a plan. And my approach slash plan would be look for the ball up in the zone, specifically a fastball, because that's the easiest way for me to drive the ball in the gaps and hit extra base hits and win this challenge. Now from Tiffin University, right-handed pitcher that throws 89 to 92. His name is Joey. Ball. Ball, change up. It's a 2 0 count. I'm about to hammer something. <laughs> Bye, Paul. Yeah. Oh, that's fastball. 2 1. <laughs> ah. Ball out, change up. Yeah, 3 1. Ball four, fastball. Now from the University of Richmond, left-handed pitcher that throws 91 to 94. His name is Brian. Change up out. Fastball, middle, middle, for a double. Before we move on to the next challenge, I wanted to give advice to young hitters and pitchers, and I'm going to do this each round, okay? So let's start with the pitchers. Well, the first thing I want to say to you guys is be aggressive and get the first pitch strike. Both pitchers failed to get that first strike, which drastically tipped the scale in my favor. If you as a pitcher get the first pitch strike, then the hitter will start expanding his zone. So attacking the zone and getting the first pitch strike will drastically improve your odds as a pitcher. And if you don't get the first pitch strike, forget it as soon as possible and dial in and get the next two pitches to be strikes. Now for the hitters. As a hitter, our job is to eliminate pitches. This is why hitters do much better in hitters counts. For example, when the count is 2-0, you know that there's a big chance that the pitcher will throw a fastball. This is why I turned on the fastball in the first at bat. I eliminated every other pitch and said to myself, I'm going to hammer a fastball because it's 2-0. And to add to my point, I haven't taken a live at bat in three years but was able to turn on pitches because I eliminated all the other pitches. See, you should never be late 2-0 or 3-1. Those are counts where you can eliminate pitches and get ready for the fastball, which will increase your odds of being successful. So for the next challenge, there will be a runner on second base. And my goal is to hit the ball to the right side. If I hit it on the left side, I will lose this challenge. So when it comes to the approach to accomplish this challenge, I can back off about three to six inches from the plate because I know they're gonna try to throw me inside so I can pull the ball. That's what the pitch 
pitcher wants, wants me to hit it on the other side. So I can back off a little bit to give myself a little bit of room so I can drive it to the opposite field. The other thing I can do is look for the fastball in and try to hit that ball up the middle. It's going to force me to bring the ball back. And this is actually Albert Pujols two strike approach. And it really helped me when I got two strikes. So something you could put in your bag of tools to help you. But it will help you to bring the ball back so you can drive the ball to the right side. So on to the next challenge. Out, ball one. I had a lot of movement on it. Strike two. I gotta tip my cap to him for that pitch. That pitch put a lot of fear in me. Now there's two strikes and a thousand dollars is a lot of money. I thought that would have been up a little bit. Slider. Gotta squeeze that though. <laughs> I'm curious to know. You think that was a strike? Comment below. Fastball in. One out. There we go. You did it. Ah, was that fastball? Okay, so advice to the pitchers. The fastball is the hardest pitch to hit and the pitch you are the most accurate with. Make sure your off-speed pitches play off your fastball and not the other way around. What this means is that if you throw a four-seam fastball, have a four-seam changeup or a curveball. That way each pitch comes out of your hand the same way and will fool the hitter. The fastball will look like this. The changeup will play off that four-seam and then go down and also the curveball will go down too. So it's playing off that plane. Just to give you an example, Brian threw me this curveball for strike two and this one I fouled off. A good pitch right after this pitch would have been a four-seam fastball up about the top of the catcher's helmet because of two reasons. He made me swing at the curveball up in the zone, so if he would have thrown a fastball there or a little higher, I would have swung because it got me to swing at the curveball that was up. Also, the way that that pitch spins, it would have exploded out of his hand and forced me to try at least to foul it off. The goal of the pitcher should be to have all your pitches play off each other. You want all your pitches to look similar and come out of the same tunnel. Now for the hitters. When you get two strikes, you cannot give in. You have to be strong mentally. Tell yourself that he will not get you and focus on the task. You have to fight when you get two strikes. And sometimes you have to foul pitches off to give yourself another pitch. I won this at bat because of this pitch right here. It wasn't a pitch I could do much with. So I just fouled it off to give myself another pitch. So you have to be strong mentally and you have to tell yourself that he's not going to beat you. And if you do that and you stay strong mentally, you're going to win a lot of at bats and you're going to be successful. Focus, 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 be strong mentally and you're going to crush up there with two strikes. Now for the next challenge, it would be bases loaded and my goal is to drive a runner in and their goal is to not let that happen. So my approach is again to go back to pitchers up in the zone because that's the best way to get me to drive the ball in the outfield. So on to the next challenge. Change up. Is that one one?
Dang, I hate the feeling of getting gassed up on fastballs, and he did it twice to me. This could be it right here, the $1,000 leaving my bank account straight to his bank account. Low, low, that broke just out of zone. I'm so pumped I didn't swing at that pitch. That pitch was dirty. And right now my heart is just beating fast. Beating really, really fast. Full, full. Full count. That curve ball again. <laughs> Another one change up. Ball. One one. Ooh, he just went to all speed pitches. You know he gonna throw right now. A fastball. Oof, ball, 2-1, fastball. Oh, broke out of the zone. Three one count, you know he gonna throw the fastball. Let's get it, time to eat. So this advice is for the pitchers. If you're beating the hitter with a fastball, throw it again. And this at bat, he beat me twice with the fastball. And since he heard me say, oh, after one swing, he retreated from throwing the fastball. This game is mental. So he let me affect his pitching by my actions, even though he beat me twice with the fastball. Now, I'm not saying keep throwing heaters, but I am saying pay attention to the game because the game will give you answers. Now for the hitters. If you have an approach and you know what you want to hit, when that pitch comes, you will not miss. You will absolutely crush it. What happens is that as hitters, we swing at pitches that we aren't looking to do damage with. And this is why we get weak contact and rollovers. It's just not that our swing is bad. It's because we're swinging because we see it, not because we want it. And that's the difference between the players at the higher levels and the players at the lower levels. See, if you know what you want, you will crush it. That is why I hit this pitch because it was what I wanted. It was what I was focusing on. So focus early on the pitch that you want because if you do, you will hit more doubles, home runs, etc. And if you don't get that pitch you're looking for, when you get two strikes, it's time to fight. If you're mentally stronger than the pitcher, he will give in and he will throw a mistake and you will be successful. So now let's go to the last and final challenge. Hey, this is the last time for them to make money. So let's get it. But wait, this is a cool view, huh? But what about this one? Besides it being a cool view, the Pro's Cave sunglasses are with thousands of pitchers and position players across the country from travel ball to the MLB are using to develop and improve their performance. For example, when we recorded this video, Joey was throwing his curveball like this. He was exposing it early and hanging it, which resulted in hitters teeing off it or not swinging at it at all. I told him what I seen as a hitter to help him, but it wasn't until I showed him this video after in the bat that he understood what I was talking about. And this is what it looks like now. 
It's still a work in progress, but this is how pitchers are evaluating and improving their stuff. And this is how he's going to fool hitters and get more strikeouts. As for hitters, I use the pro's cave sunglasses when I play professionally to help me recognize pitches during an at-bat. I noticed I was moving my head too much during an at-bat, but I believe the most beneficial part of the pro's cave sunglasses are the mental reps I was able to make. These mental reps really gave me the edge over my peers. I started seeing the ball better than I ever had because of the mental reps. I also could work on my timing even when I wasn't hitting in a game. I was basically taking more at bats than my teammates daily and this helped me to be more consistent and take my game to the next level. So if you are struggling to develop in pitching and or hitting and want to take your game to the next level and not get left behind, get a pair of the Pro's Cave sunglasses to help you. And if you just want to use them for cool content as you're seeing right now and what a lot of players are doing these days, link will be in the description below. Now back to the show. Good, one out. Two out. Oh, he threw his best pitches against me early. I got him now. I got him. Good boy. Yeah, yeah, I know, I kinda look bad, but you think I'm trying to hit a single 2-0? Trying to take donkey hacks and drive the baseball. Go, ball. Three, ball. Roll me over. Fastball strike. Oh, he coming after me. Okay. Okay. Fastball. Man, I absolutely hate hitting ground balls. With that said, Thank you guys for watching. Hit that like button, subscribe to the channel here. And if you enjoyed this, you'll love this video right over here. And also the Pro's Cave sunglasses will be in the description below. So thank you guys and I'll see you in the next video.